I realize 94% of you guys are not subscribed. It would help me if you hit that subscribe button and help me help me push the 500 subscribers. We're almost there, only 158 subscribers away. So help me today if you sub my channel. And now, enjoy the video. We thought this exact thing last year and we got nothing. But trust, Kingdom Hearts is on the come up. And this summer we're getting something. I can feel it. Now wait, wait, wait. We actually do have some decent news and arguments leading to this. Now this summer we do have an event called the Summer Games Fest, which has basically become gaming's discount E3 replacement since E3, well, uh, went under. The discussion has started to snowball for Summer Games Fest because under so many posts regarding the event, Kingdom Hearts fans have been clamoring to see Kingdom Hearts 4, and this has been happening for months pretty much. I'm unsure if Jeff Keighley can make it happen, but he definitely has shown love to Final Fantasy. 7 Rebirth on a few occasions, so maybe he'll do the same for Kingdom Hearts. Especially since we know he's looking at these posts. I know he sees these Kingdom Hearts fans as asking for it constantly. This event is coming June 7th, and they've been hyping up this event for a Yeah, honestly, that's what I've been thinking. That's what... That's what... Yeah, that's what I... Yeah, that's what I've been thinking about Summer's Game Fest, is that Kingdom Hearts 4... Good. All right, see you in a minute when you come back, Game Freak. Uh, that's what I've been thinking about Kingdom Hearts 4. I've been thinking like Kingdom Hearts 4 could be at Summer's Game Fest. It could be. It could be. Jeff Keighley does pay attention to what's on social media. This man is a marketing, it's kind of a marketing genius a little bit. So he does see, he, he has shown love to Square Enix before with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So for all we know, Kingdom Hearts 4 could be at Summer's Game Fest, which is now the new discount E3. I will agree. I will agree. But uh, honestly, honestly, who knows? And I know Summer's Game Fest is coming up, which we're going to be doing a lot of reacting to. Uh, let me check and see when June 7th is. Let me actually check and see when June 7th is. So I think I may have that date off of work. Let me check and see. June 7th. June 7th, June 7th, June 7th, calendar, June 7th. Yeah, I actually have that day off of work, June 7th. That's actually a day I have off of work, because it's a Friday. So, yeah, we will be reacting to Summer's Game Fest that Friday. But, uh, but yeah, but, but, yeah, but yeah, that's one thing I did feel like, that like Kingdom Hearts 4 could be at Summer's Game Fest. I felt like it. I felt like it would be a great opportunity to re-announce Kingdom Hearts 4, even though we're possibly the release window for it, which I do think they are targeting next year to release Kingdom Hearts 4. I do think, I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying 100% will, because I could be wrong. We never know. It could not have a release date at all. It could be like a, a dreams in the work. But I do feel like right now, Trinix, with them being in the hot seat for a lot of money they lost, and a lot of good, you know, having a lot of negative press towards their company, this could be the greatest time to be like capitalizing, like, okay, here's a goodwill. We're going to be releasing Kingdom Hearts 4 next year in 2025. If anything, if Kingdom Hearts 4 doesn't release next year, I feel like it, it will release in 2026. I feel like it will release in 2026. But I do feel like we could get that release window of, say, 2025 as the release date if not 2025 we could see them say winter of 2026 so 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 yeah so yeah so 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 so, 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 so yeah i'm not i'm not sure if it could work and if i had to guess when they would release it it probably would be an early release because early releases in the year are not are not uncommon for Square Enix games. I mean, look at look at Remake. That came out earlier in the year of 2020. That came out in April of 2020. Look at Rebirth. That came out in February. Look at Kingdom Hearts 3. That came out, I believe, in January of 20 of 2018. January 2018. So it's not uncommon for Square Enix to release games in the first half of the year 
their big blockbuster games in the first half of the year. And like before, when they released them during the holiday season, they, they actually proved they can release them in the first half and they still sell well. So, could do I think... I think development time has been enough time on Kingdom Hearts 4, but then again, I think if... I think they could. I think it... I think if it doesn't come out next year or have the release window for next year, it will probably have the release window for like 2020, for like 2026, for like 2026. So, yeah. while with some big game announcements square enix has released final fantasy 7 rebirth already so now it should be around that time where they begin shifting their focus onto their next big title which should be kingdom hearts 4. now i'm not just hoping for a random kingdom hearts 4 trailer release because to be honest that's indeed what kingdom hearts trailers are random i think kingdom hearts 4 information this year is only more likely because of kingdom hearts missing link the next mobile title that just wrapped up another closed beta test last Last week where we actually did get a lot of info out of it including 20 minutes of new story cutscenes which was pretty nice i think when it comes to kingdom hearts it's clear that the focus right now is on missing link last year when i attempted to predict kingdom hearts 4 trailers a lot of my mindset was based around the idea that kingdom hearts missing link would be releasing soon back then however what i failed to think about when making those predictions was the sheer amount of delays that missing link would end up having Missing Link was announced along with Kingdom Hearts 4, and we thought we'd receive the game the very next year since they announced a beta for it at the end of 2022. That beta not only wouldn't happen, but would end up being a closed beta exclusive to Japan where they were not allowed to record anything. Then we will proceed to not receive any info on Missing Link until the very end of last year, being 2023, and the beginning of this one. But now, since the ball has started rolling for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, and we've gotten a lot of information about the game, it's looking a lot more polished and ready for a release potentially this summer or sometime this year period which means we can start thinking about kingdom hearts 4 a little more realistically and actually start discussions about when we can get it and what we can start expecting yep yep now really now i now I'm missing link is starting to wrap up development which i which i thought that too once missing link started wrapping up development that's when we were starting getting more kingdom hearts 4 info but a lot of people did think Kingdom Hearts Missing Link would release last year because of when they announced the beta for 2022. But the thing is, like I said, it had a bunch of delays, a bunch of bunch of bunch of development problems. But now that it's now that development is going smoothly and it's wrapping up. I feel like, like I said, we could see Kingdom Hearts 4 in some capacity with a release window this year. Now, do I think it will be? Next year it could be, but then again, like I said, I call see 2026. From it. Missing Link is theorized to release around summer of this year because they mentioned wanting to take advantage of the nicer weather so players can utilize that GPS system the game is completely built around. So this is me and my attempt at predicting Square Enix's marketing strategy for Missing Link. While I think Missing Link by itself will have a lot of hype when it releases, there is very clearly a significant amount of more hype related to the next number title, being Kingdom Hearts 4. This leads me to thinking we could get more Kingdom Hearts 4 information around when Missing Link fully drops, which I think would be a good strategy to transfer more players onto the mobile title since they are connected canonically. Now, I doubt Missing Link drops as soon as next month to capitalize on a KH4 trailer at the Summer Games Fest, but it's not impossible. Kingdom Hearts 4 has had two years since its announcement, and despite that, Kingdom Hearts has constantly seen itself in the news as of late, with rumors aggressively circulating about a Kingdom Hearts movie being in development at Disney, and just general discussion about the franchise still being a constant trend in gaming circles, as many rediscover the franchise or are even getting into it for the first time, as I've been seeing all over my feed. Square Enix should capitalize on all this Kingdom Hearts buzz, because it's a clear sign that people want to see it. Now look, I'm just a Kingdom Hearts fan who is really excited about KH4. I obsess over Kingdom Hearts quite a bit to put it lightly, and if you're like me, maybe consider subscribing to the Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I can see Kingdom Hearts 4. I can see Kingdom Hearts 4 releasing or re honestly get more information at Summer's Game Fest. I do see Missing Link releasing. I, I like the screening saying they want to release when nights of weather. I can see it releasing either next month or in July. Sometimes I'm seeing next month in August, I can see Missing Link releasing. So, 
So, so, so, so, yeah, so, 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 yeah, but yeah, I do believe that Kingdom Hearts 4 will get a release date, say, um, say next, I think it will get a release date for either next year or 2026. I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it will, but I do believe we will get, we'll at least get the release window announcement at Summer's Game Fest. I could be wrong. It could have the magic and development title at the end or magic in the making like they because 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 you know they don't want to say now in development now that we, that was a meme to hell with kino parts three so who knows they could not release the release window but i honestly believe this would be the best time to capitalize and release the release window in mint some of that bad wheel screenings has right now with their consumer base but yeah that's just me i will be sure to like subscribe and follow me on Twitch to join the Shao Dynasty today.